Okay, Dennis, we've turned the saddle around, and what have you found? Well, we need to check the off, we need to check the hobble, and all these need to be checked on a regular basis, basically daily. The off side, if you're riding the same size horse all the time, the offside gets neglected. You don't you don't look at it that often, but we sure need to check it. And this is a, what they call a single off, and it's actually nylon, which is fine, but it still needs to be checked. Just because it's nylon, it's not going to be bulletproof. What we've got here is some bad wear from where the bevins buckle, the stirrup leather has come up on and worn there. Let's take it apart and see what what we have here on the D-ring and the holes and where it folds around you know if you're riding the basically the same size horse every time it's going to fold in the same spot every time so where it, everywhere it folds you know here's here's a bad spot in the leather so I wouldn't Latigos are not that expensive uh, compared to hospital stays 90% of the people ride a 5-H ring. A lot of ladies with small hands and kids will like a half-inch rein. A lot of the rainers ride a half-inch rein because they can, they can shorten them and lengthen them in their hand. Most of the cutters ride a 5-H rein. They vary in length from 6.5 foot to over 8. The longer reins they ride on, on finished horses. What we're going to do and this came from a gentleman in Arkansas, and they have lots of mold in Arkansas. One part water, or one part Listerine, two parts.